Jorge, welcome in London. Welcome at Reuters Timo Studios. On behalf of the European and the subscribers, it gives me a great pleasure to present you with the award. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. I'm honored to receive it. And I receive it on behalf of all the staff at Cinde. I want to thank your subscribers uh, for choosing Cinde as the number one. And this only increases our commitment to continue supporting them in Costa Rica. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Costa Rica is globally known for its beaches, its rainforests, and its sustainable green focus. But today, it's also known for its hosting of artificial intelligence, medical devices, and smart manufacturing. Well, to discuss this journey a little bit further, I'd like to introduce Mr. Jorge Sequeira, Managing Director for CINDE. That's the agency responsible for getting direct investment into Costa Rica. A very warm welcome. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you very much for having me. Excellent. Costa Rica is a success story, isn't it? We've seen this consistent rise in GDP. What's behind that? I think that whenever you want to talk about Costa Rica's success story, um, you need to start by, by education. Costa Rica has invested consistently in education for almost uh, two centuries now. We've had a public education be uh, free and obligatory for both girls and boys. Uh, Costa Rica in the late 40s became the first country in the world to abolish the army by constitution. And we took those resources and spent them in education and in health. And that has created in Costa Rica a society that has a very good level or standard of living. But you know, regarding what we're talking about today, you know, this education, we've been able to harvest that investment uh, thanks to technology, communications, you know, Costa Rica is able to provide goods and services out of Costa Rica to the world. You're now in a situation where it's a very attractive investment opportunity, particularly for you know, European businesses as well. Talk to me about the pathway for investing. Okay, well basically, like I was mentioning, the, you know, the reason multinational companies decide to operate in Costa Rica is education, it's the talent. And uh, you would have to look at the universities we have. Costa Rica is a population of 5 million people, and we have over 60 universities, both public and private, very well recognized internationally. And so companies come looking for that talent. And they are working not only in, in the services area, where we deliver 75 different types of services in 10 different languages to countries around the world. We exported approximately $4 billion worth of IT, IT-related and IT-enabled services out of Costa Rica, where by far the, uh, the country per capita that exports most services in Latin America. And then we also you know, use that, that great talent uh, for advanced manufacturing in areas like electronics, aerospace, auto, and of course, you already mentioned it, life sciences, where Costa Rica has developed a cluster of over 70 companies uh, that are producing some of the most sophisticated uh, medical devices in the world and exporting them globally out of Costa Rica. Jorge, one of the things I think that every business thinks about when it's going to invest is the ease of doing business. You know, how streamlined a process is it? So in Costa Rica, how streamlined a process is it to do business? Okay, we have a free trade zone regime that makes it very easy for uh, international companies or multinational companies to come and invest in Costa Rica. In addition to that, service, Cinde services, which are all absolutely free, support the companies from the process in which they're making the decision throughout the installation process, and then we continue to support them after they've installed their operations in Costa Rica, and we help them you know, succeed and grow and diversify and sophisticate their operations in Costa Rica. So they're never alone. Uh, Cinde will always handhold them, and uh, like I said, the, the processes are streamlined uh, for multinationals operator in, under the free trade zone regime, which I might add is one of the most attractive uh, regimes uh, today, globally speaking, uh, because it provides up to 100% uh, uh, exemption on taxes, on corporate taxes, as well as import and export taxes, sales tax, etc. So it's a very profitable country to operate on, operate in. What about paying attention to future trends? How important um, is it to cater to those industries of the future? You talked about smart manufacturing, sophisticated medical devices. How important is that as a strategy for Costa Rica? Yes. Part of our job at CINDE, and we keep very busy doing it all the time, is talking to the companies and understanding what their current and future needs are in terms of that talent force. So we bring in that knowledge from other uh, uh, from, from companies from other countries, 
as well as international uh, academic programs that we build, uh, we build uh, partnerships with. And so we prepare our talent so that they're ready for not only today, but for the future. So again, working together with the multinational companies in Costa Rica, we tailor those programs, both technical and professional. A good example of that is the partnership we established or we helped establish between the University of Minnesota, which is a leading university for medical devices, uh, with the Institute of Technology of Costa Rica, where we were able to put in place the first and only master's degree program in medical devices. Uh, and, it's up, and it's been working now for over two years. So, you know, this is the type of program, and again, I'll insist on this, also technical, not only professional programs, uh, that we put together with other academia and together with the companies to prepare that talent for the future. This is one of the areas in which our investment climate department works very heavily, the mega trends. You know, where are we going in terms of cognitive computing? Where is data analytics going? Uh, robotics, 3D printing, et cetera. You know, we, we look at all these uh, mega trends and prepare our, our talent working together with the companies to make sure that they can face the challenge. And all of these things that you're talking about have led to your recent award um, as the FDI Agency of the Year for Latin America. How does that feel to have won that? Um, you strike me as somebody who's not going to sit on their laurels, <laughs> always reaching for the next goal, but how does it feel to, to have won the award? Well, of course, uh, you always like to have uh, your work recognized. And I think that Cindy has had over the decades uh, a tremendous team of, of people very committed to what they do. But I think really what sets us apart is what I mentioned earlier. Um, you know, the fact that we don't just help companies make the decision of coming to Costa Rica and providing them the information they need to decide to come to Costa Rica. That's really for us just the beginning where the real work starts is once they make the decision to establish operations in Costa Rica. And we really can't hold them through the whole process and we never let them go. We work together with those companies in the academic area to make sure that the universities provide the programs that they need to grow. We work with them in understanding the, the challenges they have in infrastructure, in communications, in working with the business parks, uh, with the government, the red tape, et cetera. We try to facilitate all those processes for them. So, you know, I think that this is what, what the companies are really evaluating uh, from Cindy, that we're not just on the quote unquote sales part of the equation, but we're actually there even more so for them when they, when they need us. So what does the future hold then for you? I think that Costa Rica has the opportunity to be on the winning side of, of the mega trends and all these disruptive business models and disruptive technologies. We have invested heavily on the education and that means that if Costa Rica takes the right steps and we're working on it, we should be able to, to really take advantage of these trends uh, in areas such as cloud computing, Internet of Things, robotic process automation. I mean, we've been preparing our people for this uh, for many decades, you know, in terms of making the right investments in the academic area, uh, which will be key to be successful in this new uh, generation. So I think that Costa Rica has all the ingredients necessary to come out a winner uh, from these megatrends. Jorge Sequeira, thanks very much for joining me. Congratulations on your award. Well, thank you for having me.